good day to you whatever time it is that you're watching this but i just woke up and i'm in a, a different place if you couldn't tell i am currently in illinois at my grandparents log house because we are on our vacation we're going to wisconsin we're leaving today to go there to uh, our lake house that we're staying at for a week so yeah that's why i'm in a different place here this is definitely not my vibe all this wood but that's okay also sorry if you hear a bunch of noise i'm in the basement so everybody upstairs is making a lot of noise and you can hear it pretty well down here anyway so as you can tell by the thumbnail i'm going to be doing a spoiler filled reading vlog for scythe by neil schusterman i wasn't planning to do this video but i've heard a lot of people are interested in my thoughts on this book and i started it last night for the 24 slash 48 hour readathon hosted by mel from mel reads jaleesa from bounded and bookmarked kristen from books and more with kristen g and christine from any endings that technically started last night and the live show was last night as well so i stayed up a little bit just for the first sprint and read a little bit of this i got to page 29 and i'm loving it immediate five star feels so i was like you know what i'm gonna start a reading vlog for this tomorrow because i think i'm actually gonna really enjoy it oh also <laughs> i have a tissue as a bookmark here because i forgot to bring an extra bookmark one of my books that already has a bookmark but obviously i'm not gonna steal that bookmark so anyway i just grabbed a tissue because it was right here on the nightstand when i finished reading last night so yeah that's that's why it looks so bad um, but yeah, so I was like, you know, what? I'm gonna start a reading vlog for this tomorrow because I think I'm going to love this and I want to tell everyone about it. So that's what this video is going to be, a reading vlog spoiler filled completely for Scythe by Neil Schusterman. Yeah, I'm excited. So I'm hoping to finish it this week, um, but I am on vacation and I am not prioritizing reading because I'll be with family and wanting to hang out with them since I don't see them very often, but I'm hoping to finish it you know as soon as i can i think there will be plenty of downtime obviously because it is vacation but we shall see how we do yes i'm loving it so far immediately hooked like it was it's so good oh my gosh i think i'm really really gonna love this i love the idea you know like nobody can die anymore from natural causes so then they bring in these scythe people who have to make the random choices and decisions to kill people off but they call it gleaning so they are chosen to be people to glean other people in the population so that it doesn't get too big and they're above the law so it's totally okay for them to do whatever they want to do and kill whoever they want to kill so it's just very very intriguing and so far in the beginning one of the scythes that we've met that visits the house of our main character Citra. He was Scythe Faraday or something. He was already so interesting and like in his demeanor, like he was trying to be very nice and you know, a decent person. Like he was just coming over to have dinner with their family and he was just being like, no, I'm not gonna kill any of you. Or, and like Citra was like standing up to him and like being a little bit feisty. Her mother and father were like apologizing to the Scythe for her behavior. And he was like, no, it's okay. Like it's good to have people come at me like that because it reminds me that I'm human and blah, blah, blah. I'm like, ooh, I like the Scythes. Or at least like this one. The other ones can be mean, but who knows? but I really liked his attitude and like demeanor and such. But then he also wants Citra to become a scythe and that's like the hardest thing anybody would ever have to do. He thinks Citra would be a great scythe and she's like, I don't want to, I don't want to become one of you. And then the scythe was like, that's the first qualification or whatever. And I'm like, oh my gosh, this is gonna be amazing. I can't wait to read more. So I think I will get, um, I will read some more of it today and see how much of it I can get through. I am the one driving. I am one of the ones driving to Wisconsin today and that's like almost a three hour drive from here. So I won't be able to read in the car, but I'm excited. And excuse my like sleepy face. It hasn't like quite woken up yet. Thanks for being here. And I will update you guys in a little while. Hi guys. <sighs> what am I saying? Stay there. Do not come any closer because I look a mess right now. So I'm gonna be all the way over here. Just kidding. I mean, I just really didn't want to super close up because I'm just not feeling great lately. Um, so that's also why it's been a long time since I've filmed a clip for this. But a little update. 
I got back from my vacation several days ago now. Like I said, I've just been feeling really not 100% great from coming back and stuff and getting back into the swing of things and just like trying to catch up on sleep even though I was on vacation like it was very relaxing and I slept a lot too. I just, I don't know, I'm feeling kind of jet lagged even though I didn't fly, I drove, I'm road trip lagged. Anyways, it's been a couple days now that I've been home though and I've been trying to read as much of Scythe as I can. I feel like I haven't had much time to just like sit down and read for a long period of time. So I am currently on page 128, 129. So yeah, I've really not been reading this very fast at all, but I'm hoping to finish it in the next couple of days. But I'm actually like, I'm really loving it. It's super fun and I love the world and the characters are great. I'm actually a really big fan of Citra. I like her drive in this, just her personality in general. I'm really liking her a lot. So like a little bit about where I'm at in the book is Citra and Rowan are in the middle of their apprenticeship with Scythe Faraday. They're working through the struggle of seeing all of these gleanings happening and with Citra being such a competitive person not wanting to, to become a Scythe. I really am loving that internal battle with both of the characters in this, deciding whether they really want this to be their life. I don't really have any predictions either, like I'm not sure what is going to happen, so I'm really interested to just like keep reading and find out but I also love that they keep mentioning that there's zero tolerance for romantic relationships between Rowan and Citra because then you know that that's gonna come up later and that they're it keeps like sprinkling in a little bit that they are finding out that they have feelings for each other so I'm excited to see where that goes in this whole thing and like what that means for them but I do have a question about this scythe on the cover having a red robe all of the ones mentioned up to this point have never had a red robe so i'm wondering if this is supposed to be like citra or rowan or what i'm not really sure because they said scythe faraday was in like a blue or yellow one i can't exactly remember but yeah so i'm curious what the red robe means because we've seen like pretty much every other color but red but yeah i'm just loving the world and the concept of this whole thing that they're having to kill people off because the population is getting too big because no one is dying from natural causes or anything and i love how they keep referencing the age of mortality and the times before where they're at now so yeah it's really really good still feeling like five star vibes i love that it keeps explaining things like it doesn't feel repetitive because it's so interesting it's just like continuing to hit you with the facts of what that means for the common people you know it's just really 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 good i'm loving it loving it loving it i have no idea where it's gonna go and like where this book is gonna end like what if it's gonna be a cliffhanger like how it's gonna set up the next book and stuff i'm really excited yeah like i said trying to finish it in the next couple of days so that i can find out and then move on to thunderhead so yeah i'm exactly at the part where they're at the con con conclave i assume if you're watching this you've already read the book so you know what i'm talking about but like annual it's not annual is it or, or maybe there's multiple in a year like every season or something because they talk about the winter conclave yeah so they're there right now and they're with all the other scythes and i'm not really sure what's about to happen they're having to like like keep track of all of their gleanings and they have to write in their journal i also am loving all of the journal entries before every chapter but yeah it's really good kind of graphic i didn't really expect the graphicness of it because it is ya but that's a good thing for me because that keeps me more interested in like like holy crap what the heck you know what i mean not just being glossed over and like downplayed like how serious this is for these people okay so yeah the conclaves that they do are every four months and they have their certain quota of how many people they need to glean during that time before the next conclave oh yeah I really still love Scythe Faraday's character how he's so good for being a Scythe but is also very compassionate and understanding he definitely does feel a little bit like a father figure to Citra specifically but yeah I'm, I really love him how he's portrayed in this he's very wise and he seems to really know what he's doing honey 
You've got a big storm coming. He just seems like a really great trainer for Citra, again, mainly. I don't really know, haven't really caught on to his relationship with Rowan too much. Like, it doesn't feel as strong, but I feel a huge connection between Citra and Scythe Faraday. Like I said, like father-daughter, kind of. But yeah, I'm really loving his writing. I think he's done a really great job at keeping it very interesting and moving quickly, but then reminding you of certain things that are important in the story. And, but yeah, so that's my update on page 128, 129-ish. Don't know which one I'm on. 120. Yeah, I'm on 129. I'm gonna try and read a lot so I don't have to wait as long to update you guys again. Thumbnail. Just kidding, I don't know if this is gonna be cute. I'll see you guys later. The lighting is terrible right here. Please disregard the way this clip must be filmed, but I have to record my reaction of <sighs> Scythe Faraday gleaning himself. That's so sad. He was literally my favorite character. I literally just read it. Like I, I haven't even read the next word after Scythe Faraday has gleaned himself. <laughs> so not okay why did he do what now what's gonna happen are they gonna be under somebody else's apprentice whatever you call it apprenticeship why did he do that he gleaned it himself is that true are you lying to me is this book lying to me <sighs> oh my gosh literally the lighting is so bad oh my gosh because there's a light literally directly above me so it looks awful but I'm so sad that he gleaned himself. I did not see that coming. Now what? Dude, what the heck? I was literally like just talking about how much I love him. He was so like, he had good morals, even though he was who he was. I wanna get a backstory on Faraday. I wonder if they ever get into that because I would love to know his story. But wow, yeah, I'm so sad that he's dead or is he i mean is he dead i haven't read any past that one sentence so maybe he's still alive if you must know that was on page 171 um just for reference on where i'm at 171 he gleaned himself so now i'm on page 172 i'm gonna keep reading because i must find out what the heck's going to happen now and hopefully i will be in a better angle for the next clip bye Hello, so I read a little bit further now since the part where Faraday dies and it actually just hit me right in the heart when they talked about why he would have gleaned himself. He does it to protect Citra and Rowan from having to glean the loser. So he basically sacrificed himself for these two kids. So like, He's literally amazing. He is the father figure of this book and I love it. So yeah, that was like so freaking, oh. So that totally makes sense like why he would do that. But like still I'm very upset because I loved him. But now, so like, yeah. So I had gotten to the part where they said that whoever wins the apprenticeship has to kill the loser. And at, that was shocking too. I was like, oh my gosh, is that really, like someone's gonna kill the other person at the end of this? And then at that point I was like, okay, I think Citra's gonna win because she seems more of like the main character than Rowan. But then Faraday kills himself and now neither of them have to kill the other. Then I was questioning, now that he's dead, who's gonna train them? Now they are under the advisement, whatever, it is. So Citra is now under Scythe Curry and Rowan is under Scythe Goddard. So that's a little bit of a twist. Yeah, we will see what happens. I'm now on page 190, making good progress today. So that's good. I am going to keep trying to read as much as I can, find out more of what's gonna happen and continue to update you as I go along. But honestly, I'm like really, 
I'm really hung up on Faraday dying because I liked him. I don't want him to be dead. Still loving Citra and Rowan though. Like they're pretty, pretty awesome. They keep talking about their love for each other and saying that they're not falling in love, but they're actually falling in love. They're just lying to themselves and to each other because it's clear as day that they have feelings for each other and they will have to overcome that obstacle of not being allowed to have romantic relationships in the scythedom or whatever, but they will. So who knows? Who knows what's gonna happen? Maybe one of them does die. I don't know. I have zero predictions. I am just gonna keep reading and I'm gonna keep finding out for myself and then update you when I get to those parts and when I have thoughts to convey and emotions to express. So, until then. Goodbye. <laughs> By the way, it's still the same night as my previous clip. I just had a little bit of a shower to rinse off because I was feeling grimy and changed my shirt so it looks like maybe it's a different day, but it's not, it's the same day. I don't know why I felt like the need to tell you that, but anyways, goodbye. Okay, so I've reached the 300 page mark. I'm on page 311 now. So a little bit ago, I just got to the Harvest Conclave part where Citra and Rowan are put up against each other for sparring in their Bakrata, whatever it's called, where they have to fight each other. And then Rowan snaps Citra's neck so that he's disqualified. I literally was like, oh my gosh, this is intense. Like everyone keeps pitting them against each other because they were both under Scythe Faraday and everyone has like a problem with him and like since no one has ever had two apprentices at the same time it's like causing a whole bunch of drama in the Scythedom. But anyway so yeah that happened for the Harvest Conclave and now next is the Winter Conclave which is supposed to be when either Citra or Rowan will become a Scythe and then they still have to kill the loser like that's still apparently a thing because citra's trying to prove that faraday was murdered instead of self-gleaned now they're trying to prove that it was goddard who killed faraday which has it has to be him right do you think that he actually murdered faraday i mean if he was murdered it's obviously him right but then they could throw a whole wrench in it and a whole plot twist and, and it could have been like Scythe Curry or somebody. I don't know. I really don't know. So that's interesting trying to find out whether Faraday was killed or self-gleaned or whatever. Oh, sorry, are, are you crying? Okay. Well, no one's seen my face on here so I wanted to say hello. Hopefully you leave this in. Nope, you're just gonna be the mystery man. And yeah, Goddard is a jerk. Like, ew, I hate him. I just read the pool scene with him ordering Xenocrates, Xenocrates to jump in the pool and like drown. And then Tiger and Rowan jump in to save him and I read that whole scene. So now Tiger's back in it. He's brought up again, so I wonder what his deal is and why he's here. Rowan's trying to figure that out, why he came to the party, the party that Goddard through for Rowan for snapping Citra's neck and shattering her spine. Yeah, so I'm liking Volta now too. We're hearing a little bit more about him and how he's like trying to be a good guy even though he is a junior scythe. So yeah, I'm still really, really enjoying this book. I'm super interested in how it's all going to play out and what's gonna happen and what we're gonna find out. I'm very, very invested, loving the characters, loving the plot lines, loving the writing style for sure. Like it's keeping me so engaged and interested. I'm not like bored ever. I'm reading through it quickly because it's it's just like so good, so I'm loving it. So now they're in their final trial before the Winter Conclave and then we'll find out what the heck's gonna happen there, if they're both gonna survive, how that's gonna play out, if Goddard's gonna survive or if they're gonna kill him, if they're gonna prove him guilty for killing Faraday or other things that he's done, because who knows what else he is doing wrong and illegally as, as a terrible scythe. Like he's just awful, we shall see. Like I said, page 311, gonna keep reading. I have read a good chunk today. I might finish it today. That'd be really cool if I could because today is Thursday and this weekend is my husband and I's wedding anniversary. So we're going away. So I'm hoping I can finish it either today or tomorrow so that I don't have to worry about it this weekend. Yep, so it's going well. And I'll see you later with another update.
everyone i'm back with another update i have now made it to page 358 of scythe and a lot is freaking happening omg i am just getting more and more invested i am freaking out still have no idea where anything is gonna go but so what i've read up to now is that I'm trying to backtrack because so much has happened so i don't i don't remember what i last said but the first thing i can remember that i haven't said is that citra gets she gets accused of being the one to have killed faraday because they find his journal that he wrote. Then she splats to run away from these people that like captured her and accused her. While she's dead, she talks to or hears from the Thunderhead and he tells her who actually killed Faraday. She's brought back to life and then she's with Scythe Curry in a place away from wherever she was before. Then she finds out that the letter that they found of Faraday's is actually written about Curry and then you find out that they were lovers, Faraday and Curry. Then they were punished by however they were punished for the 70 years or whatever and then the seven deaths that was a little bit confusing like the seven deaths part uh like they just had to be killed seven times i don't know i can't really remember but besides the point she finds all of that out about them then curry sends her off to go to this place that has the man who the thunderhead told her killed faraday so oh my gosh so much so much is happening i'm so invested and i'm reading it so quickly it's amazing amazing vibes yes 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 as for predictions like i have no idea how this is going to play out how it's going to end i'm curious very very curious that's the update that's what i've read up to now and it is currently 11 34 p.m today is my dad's birthday so tonight earlier tonight we went over to my parents house for dinner and hanging out and stuff for my dad's birthday we had cake and everything so that was nice and then when we got home I read a bunch now I think I might go to sleep I might read a little bit more in bed I'm not sure but I am definitely going to finish this tomorrow so that's very exciting I'm really excited to finish it and find out what the heck is happening I'm also going to go get my nails done again tomorrow morning <laughs> anyway yeah so I will see you guys tomorrow hi so I got my nails done today this is what they look like cute 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 update on scythe i just finished part four and now i'm starting part five and so faraday is alive thank goodness i am happy to see that he faked his self gleaning so he's still alive all's good i am happy that he is still around then rowan killed goddard and rand and chomsky or whatever and then burned them so that their bones were even left to revive them so hopefully they don't come back so hopefully they're dead dead that would be awesome and total beast mode by rowan there for killing all three of them but then volta died and that's very sad because i loved him very much he self-gleaned after he just like couldn't handle it anymore after their rampage at the tonist cult place <sighs> so i almost cried that was very sad yeah this book is very intense like very sad very intense so i just have like a tiny bit left which is part five and i'm assuming this will be the winter conclave scene slash scenes and we'll find out what happens with rowan and citra so rowan was not fully corrupted by goddard but he still seems a little bit on edge about everything that he went through so who knows what'll happen there citra she's back under the apprenticeship the secret apprenticeship of faraday but then also has scythe curry with her as well so they're like all in this little secret bubble together uh, with knowing that faraday is alive this book is crazy but what's gonna happen next i feel like there's no way to know anything can happen i'm on my toes constantly about what's gonna happen next and neil is just throwing things at me every which way that i'm not expecting plot twists they're great definitely gonna finish it today i will give you my final thoughts as i wrap this book up i don't know we'll see what happens 
I hope it ends well and I hope there's like a little bit of a cliffhanger so it gets me excited for the second book. I've heard that Thunderhead is better than Scythe. I mean I'm not sure how popular that opinion is but I've heard that from some people that they like the second book better. I hope that the other two live up to how great this one is. That's all I'm gonna say. So I'm gonna get back to reading this final part and give you my final thoughts and my rating and all of that. certainly going to be a book I will remember forever. This book has changed me. I will never be the same. I loved that book. Wow, that was so, 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 so good. Five out of five stars. This was amazing. Oh my gosh, there was just so much good stuff in here. And I literally will remember this story forever. And I can't wait to read the second one. It was so good, wow. I can't believe it took me this long to finally read it, but I loved it. So that is it, that wraps up this spoiler-filled vlog for Scythe. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed hearing my thoughts on it. And I would love to know if you loved this book as much as I did, let me know down in the comments. Don't forget to check out all my socials linked down below to be friends with me on Goodreads, Twitter, and Instagram. I do have a bookstagram now, you can check that out to get more recent updates on the books that I've been reading and I will be posting some reviews on there and just fun bookish things like that. And yeah, I hope you guys are all doing well and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!